Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Crab Clutch. Today is Friday, that means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we're working on Doctor Who coasters. And if you remember last week, I picked out of the fishbowl um, a Doctor Who coaster idea from Samantha Boyle, and that is what we're doing today. I've got the Easy Cast. I have three ounces mixed, and I'm gonna separate it into two cups. Now I'm gonna try something a little bit different that I haven't done before. The one I'm gonna throw some black glitter, the chunky black glitter. Mix it in there, but I don't necessarily want it super solid. All right, and then the other one, I'm gonna use just a little bit of some India ink. Okay, that's darker than I expected, but that's okay. Now we're doing the TARDIS and the Weeping Angels. I'm gonna take my lighter, pop these bubbles, and that black glitter sunk to the bottom, so that's good. Kind of what I was hoping for. Now I've got some toothpicks. I'm taking some of my pigment powders. Normally I would be mixing them into the resin right away, but I don't want to do that. I kind of want to, um, I don't know if paint with it is quite the right word, but kind of. i take a paper towel, just wipe it off, and then go back into the pigment powder. almost like just painting with the pigment powder right on the resin. And I'm gonna just let that one sit. And now for the other one, I'm gonna kind of do the same thing. And I'm just gonna do some, some golds and maybe some silvers and whites and stuff. And kind of just smear it around and see what happens. And then if you want, you can just throw a little bit of glitter on top of it. Add more, add less, do whatever you want. And I can take some very fine silver and toss it on here as well. The other one seems to be shrinking to the middle a little bit, so I'll just add a few more, um, maybe one, maybe two more times, and then I'm just gonna let all of this sit overnight. I have my transparency film printed with a TARDIS and then a Weeping Angel, or it's actually like a scary kind of angel. And that's what I'm going to use, and I printed this on transparency film, and I used a laser printer. However, people have told me that it works just fine with an inkjet. So if that's what you're working with, um, they told me it works fine. I haven't tried it, but that's what I've been told. So I'm going to just use my cutter to cut it out. And then I'm gonna cut out the angel. Now I'm gonna do something very similar on these that we did with the fairy coaster. I'm going to paint the back so that they don't blend into the background. Now for the angel, I don't want it to be this star quite so stark as, as it did turn out when I used the white on the background of the fairies. So I'm gonna use the silver, metallic silver, and see what that does to it. So I'm just gonna do the white across all of the back of the TARDIS. All right, this is what the backgrounds look like. The one for the TARDIS did shrink up and you can kind of see even in the in the dark part there's um, streaks down deep in there but a lot of it just shrunk together so that's why I went with a smaller TARDIS and this is the one for the angel and I don't know if you can really see the depth of it but it really did turn out pretty cool with um, being able to see the different um, layers of some of that powder. Now I've mixed more of my resin and I have two ounces here so that's one ounce for each. Okay, I'll take my lighter, run it across, pop any bubbles. All right, now I'm going to take the angel first, slide it in as I normally do, take the stir stick, press it down. Make sure I get all of the bubbles released. Now I'm going to take the TARDIS, slide it in, press it down. 
Then I'm gonna run my lighter across both of them and let them sit a minimum of 12 hours before I unmold them. All right, the coasters are finished. Here's the TARDIS, and I don't know if you can see, even behind there, like in the depths of the dark, um, you, you can kind of see some of the pigment powder and resin in there. And here is the Weeping Angel that's not weeping. And I don't know if you can really tell the depth of the background on that one. That's pretty cool. So here they are. I hope all you Doctor Who fans like them. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hang out for a second and we're gonna pick next week's coaster out of the fishbowl. So here's the fishbowl. We are gonna pick out next week's coaster idea. And what I need you to do if you want your idea to be included in the fishbowl is to put a comment on the very most recent video. So right now, today, it's the Doctor Who video, but depending on when you're watching this, there might be a newer video out there. So you just need to make sure you put it on the most recent one, and I'll definitely add it to the fishbowl for the next week. So here goes. And this is from Angelina Blood Ryan 369 Monsters, which is perfect because Halloween's coming up. Now, Monsters is pretty general, so what I need you guys to do is throw some suggestions in the comments below on what kind of monsters you think that maybe I should do, and I'll think about it too, and we'll see what happens next week. So be sure to come back next week. Be sure to add your idea into the fishbowl, and remember to watch some of my other videos. We'll definitely see you next time. In the meantime, stay safe and happy crafting.